everybody, it's Kristen and it is time for some January empties and I'm, I'm kind of going to be a little bit late in getting these up but that's just the way things worked out this time. So I'm actually filming in a different at a different time of day but in, the, in my normal spot for empties. Um, I do this because I can sit on the floor and, and it's just easier to be able to set things on the ground after I show you. But I had to move my lights around because normally I do this during the day and it is you know early morning and dark out yet. So. We'll see how the light, lighting goes. Hopefully it is okay. I did not take the time to organize my trash this morning. Just sometimes it works out for me to be able to do that and sometimes not so much. I'm just going to pull stuff out of here and I will do my best to kind of keep them in some semblance of an order. So the first thing I have, and this is the shampoo that went with the conditioner that I showed you I think last month. Um, the Kerastase Bain Therapeist. I don't know. Um, and I really, I liked this, the shampoo I liked. the. This was the line where you're supposed to use the conditioner before you shampoo. And I did hear from some of you, that a lot of you guys gave me feedback that you do that with um, just like regular shampoos as well. Um, so I just wasn't for me. I didn't like it. I did like this shampoo enough though that I would consider purchasing something else from that line. So, and that came in an influence or something or other. This is something I toss in here just every once in a while just because I like to um, spread the word, make sure everybody knows about this me spreading the word of the clear. I always say this wrong too. It's clear care. This is what I use for my contacts. This helps me get a couple of months out of my monthly contacts, um, which is approved and okay by my eye doctor, but it, it's the, it sits in this little thing right here and it has to stand up right and it has to be in there for six or seven hours. So if you don't get that much sleep, then this won't work for you. But if you do, it really gets your contacts very, very clean. Um, and the no rub, if you've ever tried contacts, and the no rubs just didn't work for you and so you gave up and went back to glasses, you might want to give that a shot because, um, give this a shot because I thought that I wasn't going to be able to wear contacts because I ended up being allergic to most of the no rub solutions, like my eyes just wouldn't have it, but that one worked really well for me. So I have a couple of, how many do I have, how many of these do I have, good gracious. I think I only had a few of these left. Um, when I did this last time. It's been longer than a month since I did my empties. I think I did my January ones, or December ones early. Anyway, I only use one of these a day is the point. So I finished up another Bioderma makeup wipes. I really like these. They have a scent that I don't think everybody would like, but I do really like these. These were a gift to me um, by my friend Norma. And I use the travel size of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. You guys know that I love these very, very much. We'll continue to repurchase those. Um, and then this is a quandary to me, I have to say. This is the Elf, uh, Elf, Elf Makeup Removing Cleansing Cloths. I really liked these this time. Now, I had a pack before that were terrible, and I used them just, I used them up by removing um, swatches and that sort of thing at my vanity. But these ones, um, there was a lot of moisture in these, and they worked pretty well. Now, they are smaller. How many are in here? 20, too. There's 20, 20 in here, and I think they sell for $3. I got this, I think, in an Allure Beauty Box, but they are smaller than a normal wipe. I still would not repurchase them, but I have to say they were better than the last time I used them, so I'm not sure what's up with that. All right, I couldn't help it. I just semi-organized my trash. <laughs> I just felt like things needed to be in some kind of an order. So um, I finished up another Biotin. I take this every single day. This is the brand that I like to take, which is Now. This is the 5,000 MCGs. There's 120 in here. Um, and I just, I feel like it helps keep my hair a little bit stronger and there's no help for my nails really. That's why I use it, why I have acrylics back on. But, um, yeah, I really like this. I get mine on Amazon and this, this is another thing actually I get on Amazon. And I mention this every once in a while when I use one up. The last time I purchased these, I think I got like three packs of them and I think I'm on my second of the, this is the first one I used up, I think. Anyway, the point of this is these are the Johnson's. Johnson & Johnson, Johnson's, there's a lot of Johnson's in there. Pure cotton, cotton swabs. Now, I've said before, I like these Q-tips the best. They're cotton swabs, whatever. I like them the best. I feel like they are the tightest wound, you know, on, on the Q-tip. And they just work better than anything else when you're trying to, you know, kind of clean up under your eyes or clean up on the edge or anything you use a cotton swab for. I just think that these are the best because they are the most tightly wound cotton and I, I've heard that from other people so I, I don't think I'm crazy. Not about that anyway. Alright, a couple of body care things. This is the Curel Itch Defense Body Wash Calming Cleanser for Dry Itchy Skin and I really liked this. It was nice. Uh, I started to use this just, you know, when, when it started to get really cold here. 
Um, it says wash itch away. And I did like it. There was no fragrance that I remember. Yeah, not really any, so I mean a little bit of a kind of a clean fragrance, but I don't think they have an added fragrance. And this says it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. It has that little E on there. I like this. I would, I would consider repurchasing it again. Um, no, I would consider repurchasing it. When you say again, it's redundant. <laughs> it's a problem I have. Um, anyway, really, really nice. This actually is the soap that I'm using currently, but I do like this. It's the Dove White moisturizing cream. I think it's just your basic Dove soap. And I had two bars of this that I think I got in some beauty box and then I have two bars of another type of soap from Dove, but I do really like this. There's nothing special about it though. I mean, it's soap. All right, a couple of Bath and Body Works things. I always buy these when I travel and this is the, the little travel sizes. Uh, this is the warm vanilla sugar um, lotion and I really prefer the lotion in the and they're squeezed to the triple moisture one, but you can't get that in a travel size, so I usually just just get that one, just whatever one's available. I uh, used up an Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion. Well, I'm not sure that it firmed anything, let's be real. But um, I did like the scent of it better than I thought I would. It's just a very, there's a very faint sort of perfuming smell to it, but if you don't like perfuming smells, I don't think you would like that. And then I, we had, I, th I feel like I, well, you, th you know what, I think it's in the other bathroom. I'll show you next month. But I loved this. This was, okay, so the foamy hand soap you guys know I like from Bath and Body Works. This is the one in Anjou Pear. This was really, really nice. I liked it a lot. It was very, well, it was very summery. But it smells like pear and not like fake pear. I don't know. It was a good pear scent. All right, I am actually, I always show you, you always see this before I'm actually through them generally because um, I empty it into my little stand-up thing that holds these. But uh, this, these are the Quo Cotton Swabs, luxury cotton pads. I love these. They're amazing. I tried the Swispers. I talked about those last month. I think they were not as good. They fell apart. These Quo Cotton Rounds are really, luxury cotton pads, excuse me, are really, really nice. I like them a whole lot. I've not found anything here in the States that compares to that as of yet. I know a lot of people said the Ulta ones they really liked, so I may give those a shot, but I have I have quite a few of the cool ones to go through. Um, all right, let's talk about some skin care. I have, oh no, I have one more body care thing. <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Alverde Cranberry Macadamia. So you guys know, if you've been around a little bit, I shouldn't assume that you know. The Elverde Body Body, just the regular normal one, which I think is macadamia, I absolutely love. And every once in a while, um, one of my friends in, like, it's available in Germany and Switzerland. And there's there are other countries that have El Verde is available in. But um, so my friend Ute sent this to me um, for Christmas and oh, it was limited edition. It smells so good, you guys. I can still smell it in here. I would, I would love a candle in this scent, <laughs> but I love this. Um, really, really like the Elverde, Elverde body butters. They're awesome. Uh, okay, some skincare that I went through. I Right now I've been using in the evening. I was, and now I'm, I'm working through some of my back stocks and samples that you guys have seen of skincare. But um, the Camp Cosmetics Untouched by Time is their more moisturizing. It's like their... I think they have like three levels, like Elixir and then Illum and then Untouched by Time. Like an Elixir has a little bit of moisture, then Illum has more and that, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I've been using at night, the Untouched by Time, and then I finished an Illum, which is what I was using during the day. Makes sense. There's the same amount in both of these, I believe. I should look. Yes, there's the same amount in both of these, 1.7 ounces, and um, it makes sense that I use them up at the same time. And then uh, the serum that I use during the day is um, also by Camp and it's the Immortal. I used up one of those. Bo all three of those, you know, I haven't been saying very much if I would repurchase. There's nothing in here that, that I wouldn't repurchase so far. I don't think there's a, that's, it's been a really good month of empties. Um, I have already repurchased all of those three things from Camp. And then I used up another of the cleansers that I use, which is the Milk Cleanser. And I absolutely have already repurchased that. All right. Let us talk about some makeup. I do have a couple mascaras in here, but those will save for Mascara Madness. Um, I did finally finish up the Cover FX Calming Primer. I have it cut open. Let's see, I got every little bit out of it. I went back and forth on this. Sometimes I really liked it, and sometimes I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know that it does anything, but I did notice a little bit of a difference in my skin when I went to something else. So... I don't know, but I will tell you this. I think that the Embryo Elise 
like creme concentrate does the same thing for my skin than that does than this does i'm not saying they have the same ingredients or anything but that is much less expensive than this i think this is 40 some dollars for the cover effects calming primer so would i use it again if i had it yeah i just don't know that i would purchase it again so there you go there's the first thing that i wouldn't repurchase now i have this in here but i'm not quite through with it yet because i i depotted it and put it into another little thing I have to put the cover back on this because it's kind of messy. But this is the Pond's BB Cream. I have to tell you guys, and I think I showed this in a favorites too. I forgot how much I liked this. And I will actually, even though it's in my use it up and I feel like it's lasting forever. I will really miss this Pond's BB Cream when it's gone. And to my knowledge, they do not make it anymore, which I just don't understand. It's a really nice texture. It really evens everything out. Um, when I don't want full, full coverage, it's just perfect. You could certainly put you know, a fuller coverage foundation over the top of it or, you know, a medium coverage. And it just, it's really, really nice. It has a nice SPF in it. Um, it's 15. So for around here, that's a nice SPF, especially in the winter. Um, it, so it says, uh, for your even tone luminous look is what it says on there. And I did a full review on this way back when, when it first came out. And I, I, I stand by that review. I really, I do really like this. And I feel like it has great lasting power. It's nice. If you can get your hands on this, I've heard some people say they've seen it at Big Lots and that sort of thing. And I bet you could find it. If I can find an Amazon link or something like that, I'll, I'll list it below. But if you have this in your collection and haven't used it, pull it out before it goes bad. Because use it up. It's good stuff. All right. <clears throat> I think I need to save this because this might have been on my on my use it up list. I'm sure it was, but I'm going to try to save all of those things. And so I can show you guys at the end of the year, I just flipped this across the room. I had to go get it. <laughs> so this is the Pixie black cocoa liner. I've used one of these up before I've raved about it forever. It is really, really a nice brown liner. And so I would purchase that again, but I have many brown liners to go through. So this is a highlighter that I got from Australis. It's highlights, mineral face highlighter in pearl. So you cannot get this around here. I did really like this, but I can't get it out of the it won't pump out anymore and so either I don't think that it's gone because I can still kind of see it there but if you have Australia it's the point of me putting this in here is to tell you that um, it really is a nice product and hopefully you get one where the pump doesn't work this was a gift to me from um, my friend Aggie let's see the last thing I have in here oh I put blankety in here because mm -mm. I mean, it was like one week it was fine and the next week it was not. So I really like Blankety. It's a really beautiful shade, like a lighter shade. And I don't have a ton of lighter shades like that, but it is very pretty. And then lastly, but certainly not least, this is a Bioderma Stick Hydrant. And you can see I have dug everything out of there. I think I have a couple of these left as well. One of my favorite lip balms, I was using this at night. I don't know if there's, no, it doesn't look like there's SPF in this. But this one, though, if, you, if you're if you using it during the day and you keep applying it and applying it, it will kind of make your lips look white, white, really white. I just used it at night and really love this. This is, uh, I've gone through a couple of those. All right, so I do have one more kind of set of things here to show you, but I just, just want to say, and I'm not going to include masks in this, but throughout the year, I'm going to try to total up what I've used up throughout the year and kind of give you a running total. Um, Carrie McHale does that. I'll link her below if you're not familiar with her. She'll do that with her empties. And I always found that really interesting to see how much it totaled up that you used up. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to try to do that. But some, you know, the the masks that I have and use up, I get them like at TJ Maxx or some of these I've had forever. And so throughout the year, I will not include masks in that. But I'm going to very quickly kind of run down these masks for you if there's anything that I can remember to tell you about them. So this is, I have this in a Ziploc because I used this twice. This is a martini mask, the green apple collagen mask. I have a few of these that I bought from Tammy, Miss Uppies. No, it's not Miss Uppies Feeds. It's just Uppies Feeds. <laughs> and she, um, she does a sale every once in a while. You can get these from her. So I love the martini masks. I feel like they're really, really good. They are a little bit more pricey than some other ones you would get, but you can get two uses out of them. There's so much stuff in here. I mean, I'm like slathering it all over my neck and whatever. So absolutely would purchase those again. So some, a lot of these I get at TJ Maxx and you never know whether you will find them again or not. This line is the absolute, absolute, it's got an exclamation point. <laughs> 
So these, I have two of the honey ones and then one of the vitamin C ones. I have said before and I will say it again, I don't know that I necessarily can tell the difference from mask to mask. I can just tell that my face maybe is a, a little brighter, has a little more even skin tone and is more moisturized. So a lot of what I look for is how they fit my face. Do they stay on? Do they um, dry out very quickly? That sort of thing. And these ones are nice. I do feel like they dry out more quickly on my face, this Absolute brand. Um, I used one from Garnier. This is the, I think anybody can get this, the Star Dark Spot Treatment Mask. It says deeply hydrates, boosts radiance, smooths and revitalizing, revitalizes. This is really nice. Again, this is one that has a lot of moisture to it originally, but I feel like it dries more quickly on your face. A lot of that has to do with how thick or thin the, the, like the paper that it's made out of goes onto your face, you know what I'm saying? Right, so I have three from Bio Miracle, two of the collagen, um, something Q10, coenzyme Q10, I have it ripped off so you can't really see. And these are nice, these are a funny shape, and the other one that I have is the vitamin C collagen. These are kind of a funny shape, I, if I, I'm almost positive these are, these are the ones. They're more like this way than they are this way, and I kind of, you know, needed to get up like Sometimes my hairline, I feel, is drier than others. Anyway, th these are nice. They just are a funny little shape. Probably uh, my second favorite line of mask is the Nature Ma the Nature Nature mask. So I have a red wine mask that was actually red, like the thing was red. It didn't make my face red or anything. And then this one, oh, I don't think this is from there. I can't. I'm. I, I'm sorry. I can't. I will show you this. I did really like this one, but there's no name brand on it. It's all in Korean. I don't know where that one came from. Probably my, maybe my friend Tika. Anyway. So, um, let's see. The last ones I kind of talked about these before. This is the, I think it's Forever Luminous. I have that ripped off. But it, this is the Honey and Collagen. I like those ones as well. Um, the Ellen Tracy Night Repair Mask. I like this, but this dries out in like 10 minutes and it's done. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know why that is. Um, the anti-aging grapeseed facial mask from Skin Benefits. This is also a nice one, but also weirdly shaped. It, I don't know, it's it's just weirdly shaped and very thin. Very, this one was very very thin. This one um, was interesting. Came in a little envelope sort of thing, and it was the Spa Rituals 15 minutes and almond almond oil facial mask. I liked this one, um, but again, this one dried up very very quickly. It says use twice weekly. Well, I only had the one, so. And then lastly, this is something that I was actually disappointed in. I was excited and hoping that it would be like baby feet or baby foot. And that's what I use. The mask that I put on my feet once or twice a year where it just peels your feet and looks ridiculous. But then your feet will love you for it after. So this one, um, I think Norma sent this to me. Um, I think So I think it came from Canada. It's Beauty Concepts Petty Patrol Repairing Foot Mask. And it, in case you're curious, and this is the only reason I'm certainly grateful for the foot mask. Um, but I just want to let you guys know this does not do what baby feet does by any way, shape, or form. I noticed a little bit of kind of, you know, like softening and a little bit of peeling, but nothing like what baby feet does. Now, um, that one is like $25. I have no idea what this one was. It was a nice kind of, you know, little bit of a treatment, but just nothing like that one. I just want to make sure, sure that you guys are aware of that. So... That was a whole lot of empties, a lot of talking about masks. Oh, there's another bamboo one. Did I talk about this one? I don't know. TJ Maxx is where I get the mo the majority of my masks. I had masks. I've had I had so many that I haven't bought any for so long. I'm just kind of working through my mask. A lot of people ask me how many I do a week. I try to do three a week for a while there. Um, when it got bitter cold and below zero, I will, it doesn't matter what kind of skincare you use. When it is below zero and it stays there, it sucks every piece of moisture out of the air and out of your skin. And so I was doing them just about nightly. That's, that's when I kind of really get into doing a lot of masks is when it gets so cold here and there's just nothing we can do about adding moisture to your skin. Okay, so on my face today, <laughs> I have the same base as I have been using. I will list it below. I did break out the um, Visart, Viseart, take your pick, palette, but all I did was, um, I gosh, what did I do? This shade right here all over my lid and that and the, this one in the crease. So those two, top and bottom. That is all that I did. Took that same brown beneath my lower lash line. As my liner, I used that Chanel liner in purple chocolate or purple chalk, how it's listed on there. 
I did um, try a couple of new face products. So I tried the RMS, which is this little, um, in Beloved on my cheeks. And I really like how it looks. It blended very nicely. Really like that. And then I took the ColourPop and stole the show, which just came in. What did that come in? Oh, that BFF box. Tried that today. And then for my lips, I have MAC Lip Liner in Plum. Over that, I have the Lipstick in Stone, believe it or not. Works really well over Plum. And then I have the Cam Cosmetics Lip Lava and Catwalk in over the top of that. And I believe that that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.